Right. So we've got this step four, which again, doesn't need to be used after GraphML, but we're trying to propose a natural language interface to ORANGODB. And so part of this requires us to work with Langchain, uh, which requires a bit of setup, which we will skip. But let's just assume that we have an object called chain, which is connected to our database has access to kind of the general schema of our data so that it knows what are the fields, what are the collections, and then knows a bit of instructions through prompt engineering what it's supposed to do. And so it's a, it's a multi-step process where we take a natural language prompt, convert it to an AQL query, execute that AQL query on the DB, fix the AQL query if there's a mistake, so kind of a self-correcting LLM step, and then returning the results in JSON and having an LLM model translate that JSON result back to natural language. So for example, if we say something as simple as fetch me the predicted tag of a random product that we've just, we've just predicted along with its key, we can see a very, very simple AQL query that tells us, okay, well, let's just iterate through product, sort randomly, fetch the first one and return the key and the tag. So very briefly, we can see that, okay, this particular product is labeled as an unauthorized distribution. We have additional examples. I mean, I won't show all of them because we might run out of time. What I do want to show you is basically where I got that screenshot from in the slides. Uh, but for example, let's go all the way down. I think it's this one. So fetch me the person names associated to selling the most products whose predicted tag is counterfeit. Here you see again, a for loop across our person collection and uh, iteration across our edge collection to fetch for products labeled as counterfeit. Um, so at this point, um, this is kind of a, a really nice example of showcasing kind of the natural language result that you would be able to get with this integration. Um, mind you, you can also combine it with Arango search capabilities. So it doesn't need to be after an ML job. You know, you can even write data with, with this natural language, you know, say like, update this particular person to have attribute foo bar, for instance, or create an edge from person one to person two, right? So it's a really nice way to kind of manage a DB. So we do instruct uh, in different templates, uh, a set of instructions for the first step, which is natural language to AQL. Then we give it instructions for fixing an AQL if it makes a mistake. And then we do a third step to say, okay, here are a set of instructions for translating JSON results back to natural language based on the user's question from the beginning. So Yes, prompt engineering is required. This particular demo has no fine tuning whatsoever. It's just working off of a GPT 4.0 uh, model. And so we're able to get pretty nice results using a you know out of the box LLM with limited prompt engineering. So we're actually, it's it, it does look very promising. Yeah. So anything AQL can do, you can find a way to have it done in natural language. Yeah, with thanks to LLMs now. What happens is we're relying on this Langchain integration to work with data that is in ORANGODB. But what we are we have been using is Langchain has a lot of nice tools from building knowledge graphs from unstructured text, such as PDF documents or Word documents. So it would be just a matter of getting that unstructured text in a graph representation, and then suddenly you could take advantage of, 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 uh, of this graph rag approach in ORANGODB.